as of today, Street Fighter 6 is now one year old. Or shall I say it was two days ago. And it's because my pre-order, whenever I put it in, you know, months before the game released, decided to come in two days late because I wanted a physical copy. And it's definitely not because I don't know what month it is. Regardless, I just wanted to talk about Street Fighter 6 and just how much I've enjoyed the game. It is legitimately my favorite fighting game of all time. Not only is the game, like, just really beautiful, uh, I really love the drive system and the way that certain mechanics interact with each other and... Oh, man. I mean, how am I not gonna like it? I mean, I'm a Guile main forever, so Guile being in the game is really cool. Glad that he wasn't DLC like Street Fighter V. And we actually have a Capcom-made Guile model that doesn't look weird without sunglasses on. This, this right here is a big win. But like, even discounting Guile, just a lot of the characters in the game right now are really fun for me to play. I mean, I'm not going to like go and like main and lab them and put a whole lot of hours into them, but just like, oh, I want to play Marisa today against my friend, you know? She's fun. I love just armoring and her command grab and just, all, I could say a lot about a whole lot of characters in here. They are amazing. And it's not only that, like, the fighting part itself, the main game, is really fun. I, as you can see on the screen, I really loved World Tour Mode. I've put, I think, almost 90, 100 hours into it. And that's just from grinding and going and combing the map for treasure boxes that I missed. Honestly, just making a character and giving them whatever moveset I want, asterisk, is awesome. I mean, World Tour mode and, well, Street Fighter VI in general isn't completely perfect, but this has just been, like, if it wasn't to be updated at all, it would be a wonderful package of a game. I think my only real problems with the game is that, uh, you know, the DLC was extremely slow to come out, and having four DLC characters for one season is excruciatingly slow, and we never really got a lot of additional costumes in the year we got for, like, the actual characters. And not only that, when we did get them, they are extremely too expensive, and there's no bundle. And no, the one-year anniversary sale, making them $240 each for all except the DLC characters, Costume 3s, does not help that you're still spending a lot of money if you want the set. Uh, I, look, I could ramble on for that for a while, but I'm not going to because this is a video about loving Street Fighter 6. It's just so enjoyable for me to have a fighting game that I can entice at least one friend into playing and actually, you know, feel like we're both learning and having an amazing time. Regardless, I'm just really excited about the game in general. I really want to see what they do for Season 2 and I'm really hoping that we get Dudley and Vega among like Sakura and some other characters. But I'm I'm just really excited that this game gels with me so much. Even though like dry rush and stuff makes it to where rush down is really good, you know, I barely even use like dry rush cancel combos because I can hold my defensive line without really needing it. And that's the beauty of Street Fighter 6 is that a lot of different playstyles are helped by the system mechanics. Sure, they might not be, you know, Manon going and dry rushing all the way into the opponent's back ranks, but, uh, you know, not every character is going to be good. But, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I love Street Fighter VI, and uh, I think I'm just going to let this... Uh, cutscene play out and uh
Yeah. That'll be it for me today. Easy editing job. All right. Bye-bye.